Hi there, this is Tim Fairfield, Keysight Technologies. I'm going to be talking today about uh, one millimeter instrument adapters, the connector care, and related to those, how to avoid breakage and cost. So here we have um, a picture of the um, channel input adapter. This is also known as the connector saver, and this is the one millimeter that I'm talking about. Uh, here it is connected to the N1060. Um, where you will see these and where they'll be used on the N1060 and also on the higher end UXR scopes. And you'll see this is where the connection is. Um, this is where it is in the N1060. This is the adapter itself and that will attach down below um, to the uh, connector uh, on the instrument itself. The purpose of having this is to reduce the wear and tear on the very sensitive one millimeter um, connectors. So the anatomy of these things, um, what makes them delicate, okay? Um, in the earlier slide, we saw the cost of these for replacement is quite high. And if you break one, it costs you time as well to get a replacement. The cost can be about $6,000. So it is worth having this training. Um, so the one thing here is the connector here. This is all one metal piece. So in blue, this is the upper part. This is all one solid piece of metal essentially. And so what we, this, uh, can't, you cannot break this uh, because it's all one piece of metal. And the orange part also is one piece of metal. What's different and what is not as, as strong as that is the center portion where they connect together. This is not a connection that should be turned at all. And this is where it can break. And if you move it a little bit, you'll end up getting a quite a bad looking signal on the scope. Um, and it cannot be repaired. It just basically will unscrew and uh, this will be an issue. So I'm going to show you how to attach these properly and where to place wrenches. In the kit that you will get these um, and when you receive a demo unit or if you receive your own unit, um, you has two wrenches that are torque wrenches and this particular upper wrench has a uh, red side and a, and a silver side. The 10 pound inch side is the one we'll be using. Uh, this is your standard um, uh, torque wrench that you're used to uh, putting cables on that you are probably very used to. And then there are rigid wrenches here that are fixed wrenches. And this is what you're going to hold things steady with depending on what type of connection you're going to be making. So let's zoom in here and take a look. Um, again, referring these earlier pictures and what we want to do uh, when we're attaching an adapter or the connector saver onto the instrument itself is you want to hold the adapter with the rigid wrench uh, here. Um, so on this part down below, and we're basically keeping this solid and only moving the ring on the scope. Um, this is a silver uh, type of movable connection. Um, this will be held rigid. This isn't going to be touched at all and these should not move at all relation to another, one another ever. So that's what we're going to show. We're going to show a video later of it actually being put on the instrument. And now uh, this is more often you're going to be doing this and this is what most often will damage it if you're not careful. What we want to do when you're connecting a cable, ever connecting a cable, this blue section you see here or this upper section, um, is rigid. We're going to be holding that with the rigid wrench and we're only going to be uh, turning the the shield or the shroud of the cable with the uh, torque wrench and making the movement there. And we'll also support the cable. And once this is attached, the cable will be an extension of this. So never really try to move the cable. That could cause an unnecessary force, which is, could also crack over and break this joint as well. It may not be visible to you, but when it does break, you'll actually see a poor or oh, very, very poor quality signal on the scope. And uh, then it would have to be re replaced at that point. So let's move on uh, to the video that I have for you next. When removing the cable, you must use the fixed wrench and keep it steady the entire time. Use the torque wrench to unscrew the shroud of the cable and once it's loose enough, grab it with your fingers, but keep the, the fixed wrench present and unscrew very carefully. Only when it's completely free can you let go of the rigid wrench. Now, removing the one millimeter adapter, I'm holding against the edge of the adapter on the hex nut that's attached to the outer ring, and I'm only moving the torque wrench.
Now, attaching an adapter, we do it finger tight at first, gently by rotating almost no pressure against that. Then we stop, connect the hex rigid wrench to the hex nut, and then rotate the torque wrench to tighten until it breaks over. Attaching a cable, support the cable with your hand and gently finger tight until there's just a bit of resistance, no more. Now you're going to attach the rigid wrench on top as shown here and then I'm going to take the torque wrench and then tighten it up and finally we'll repeat that process so you can see it again again support that cable when you're putting it on by hand feel free to share this video I hope you've got something out of it and please share with your colleagues in the lab uh, so that they are aware as well um, don't forget to subscribe and I do have a longer version of this video uh, with more detail if you want a more in-depth training which I'll have at the end of this video to share with you thank you very much and have a good day